I noticed that this has happened at least three times to me, spread out over a period of time where I've been to the gas station and someone's come up to me and yep. said, hey, can you help me out? I, I, I got to get to my grandma's house. Yeah, but see, I, like with, but with, me per- with me personally, I balance my, my guilt with a healthy dose of skepticism. So, you know, it, it, they, they, that's a fierce balancing act to have to try and pull. But, you know, the caller brings up some interesting uh, points about with the volunteers. I'll, whenever volunteer, it's always volunteer firefighters or EMS services, will will stand at one particular point. Sometimes it's at the intersection of Route 59 and Middletown Roads. Usually it's the busier intersections. Yeah, and they'll stand out there with the cans or their helmets, rather. The boot drop. Yeah, Absolutely. the boot drop. We Abs- are de- you know, we, Absolutely. We, we are totally dependent upon that for things that we do for the core, like core parties or having food at meetings and... You know, if, if a family member dies from uh, one, you know, or someone gets hurt, or one of the core members is in the hospital, you know, that that's how we fund all of that. You know, so we, we get our budget for other stuff in other ways, but but the, um, you know, the good and welfare and, and and taking care of the core, and even even like a core party once a year, you know, just like kind of an add a boy type thing. Um, all of those funds come from that. I mean, I spent many a day, you know, standing outside. Oh, absolutely. And stuff. And, um, and that's the kind of place where I'm always willing to drop a couple of bucks or whatever I've got on me at the time, you know, and that sort of thing, because it's easily identifiable. They're out during the day. You've got a bunch of people wearing all their, their gear. They've got the truck parked nearby. It's not like it, they're running some sort of, at least you hope they're not. And I assume that they're not. And I don't think they've I've ever heard of anything like that. But you, you assume that that's not a scam. That's the truth. Yeah. When, so when, when a kid comes to my front door, or if I pass them in the at the entrance of, of a supermarket or something, and they're just sitting out front with a can going, you know what, we're collecting to do a project at school or whatever it is, you know, I, I feel really bad about not giving that kid a quarter or a dollar, whatever it is, but I have no idea that you're actually doing that. I really don't. Well, it's hard, and I feel school. guilty about that, but I'm very skeptical about yeah. those sorts of things. But, but again, you could like, you know, find out who to contact. Worst case scenario, mail them a check.